Good day to you. My name is Maxwell Emmanuel. I'm the founder of Traded Max Forest Academy, an academy that was established to educate and equip existing and prospective forex traders with the accurate information and tools required to trade forex profitably. In this video, I will be sharing with you basic candlestick formations that can help you identify um, the market trend. Candlestick formation that you can use to identify a buying uh, setup or a sell setup. Okay, so um, I'll be looking at some of the basic candlestick formation. There are a lot of candlestick formations but i would be sharing with you in this short video the basic candlestick formation that if you know or you apply this in your trading you definitely would get some good results from this basic uh, candlestick uh, formation so the first candlestick uh we'll be looking at is the spinning top candlestick the spinning top candlestick looks like this. This is it. That's the candle before the vertical line. The candle before the vertical line. It is called a spinning top. Now, when you see a spinning top in an upward trend, in a bullish trend, when a spinning top forms in an upward trend, it's an indication that the buyers you can see the ma the market had been it has been in a but uh, on it has been in a bullish trend the market has been in a bullish trend for some time now you have uh expanding top this is an indication that the buyers are getting exhausted and at this point sellers are showing up in the market sellers <clears throat> are showing up in the market now if you want to trade this formation now this is just an indication that the buyers are getting exhausted before you enter a sell trade there has to be a confirmation candle okay you would have to wait for the next candlestick to close bearish wait for the next candlestick to close bearish if the candlestick closes bearish then it's a good uh, indication that you have sellers who are willing to sell at this price or below this price so you wait for the next candles to close bearish below the low of this uh, spinning top the low of the spinning top okay and if the market closes above this level I think the best thing to do is to is to buy above this level if the market closes above not just test that level you have to wait for the market to close above so you can consider buying above this level and below this level that is how to trade the spinning top candlestick formation don't just jump in because you see a spinning top no wait for the next candlestick to close bearish before you start selling and if buyers push the price up and close it above this level you should consider selling so that is a spinning top a spinning top candlestick okay let's look at other candlestick as we move back uh, when we come across the spinning top candle i would uh, point it out so that you see how it's played out in the in the past so let me go back and look for other candlestick formation okay i've identified some here now this is called um a doji you can see the doji looks like the spinning top but the difference between doji and spinning top is that a doji we say a candlestick is a doji when the market closes at the same price it's opened we say that candle is a doji candle okay the market closes at the same price it's opened so this is a doji now you can see that the market was in a bearish trend the market was in a bearish trend so when you see a doji in a bearish trend when doji forms in a bearish trend it's an indication that sellers are getting exhausted 
sellers are getting exhausted and at that point we expect buyers to push the price up okay sellers are getting exhausted so we expect it's expected that buyers will come into the market and push the price up so like i said don't execute a buy trade until this next candlestick confirms or closes bullish this should confirm the trend this next candlestick will be your confirmation candle so you wait for this candle to stick to close okay preferably above um, above the the high before you start buying you wait for the markets to close above the high of that candle before you start buying and if the market closes below below the low of this candlestick you can consider selling buy above the high of that doji candle and sell below the low of uh, the doji candlestick but you see how it's played out here the market closed above the high so what you would have done is towards buy so you can see that uh, this doji looks like a spining top you can see it looks like a spining top but you can see a spining top as a small body that's the difference so the small body indicates that the the market closed above the price it opened so a spining top has a small body doji does not have a body it doesn't have a body it's the market closes the same price it's opened so a doji does not have a body but the spine top has a body okay let's go back and see what we have okay so yeah another candlestick formation we have here is uh, the engulfing pattern engulfing pattern engulfing candlestick uh, formation we have the bearish engulfing pattern and we have the bullish engulfing pattern this is a bearish engulfing pattern Okay, why is it called a bearish engulfing pattern? You would see that the candle before it is a bullish candlestick. The candle before it is a bullish candlestick. And you can see the market had been on an upward trend. It's been bullish for some time before this bearish candlestick engulfed this. You can see this candlestick closed below the low of this candlestick. This previous candlestick, you can see it's closed below the low okay so that's an indication that sellers are we have more sellers who are willing to sell at this price so you don't just jump in after the formation of this candlestick this is the confirmation to sell because the market this candlestick engulfed this bullish candlestick so you start selling below the low of that candlestick wait for the market to close below the low of that candlestick okay wait this is an engulfing pattern so we have looked at uh, what a spinning top can do is and how to trade a spinning top we've looked at doji and now um, i'll just look at what an engulfing uh, pattern is this is a bearish engulfing and you have a bullish engulfing pattern when the market is in a bearish trend you have a bullish engulfing pattern let's go back if we see a bullish uh, okay you can see this is um this is a bearish engulfing and this is a bullish engulfing and before this bullish engulfing you had uh, a spinning top here this is a spinning top you can see that this is a spinning top and that's because the market price had dropped for some time it has been in a bearish trend so you have this okay spinning top then you have engulfing pattern which is a strong indication that you have buyers in the market so you expect price to go up okay so this is bearish engulfing pattern this is bullish engulfing pattern okay so here we have um here we have an hanging man you have a spinning top this is an this is a strong indication that the market is about to change its trend this 
indicates weakness. It indicates that the buyers are getting weak. As you can see, the market uh, was in a bullish trend. Okay, it was in a bullish trend. You now have a uh, uh, spinning top and uh, spinning top. You see that you have a doji here. So this is an indication that buyers are getting weak. And you can see how it's played out. Sellers showed up strong in the market and they pushed the price down. Okay, so let's go back. You can see what we have here. This is an engulfing pattern. You have a bearish candlestick. The next candlestick that closed. Closed bullish. Okay, and it closed above the high of the previous uh, candle. And you can see how it played out. Price went up. So this is an engulfing, a bullish engulfing pattern. You can see bullish engulfing pattern. I think I see another pattern here. You can see this is an engulfing, a bearish engulfing pattern. You have a bullish candlestick. The next candlestick that closed, um, closed below. You can see it's closed below the low of this um, bullish uh, candlestick. Okay, so that's an engulfing pattern, a bearish engulfing pattern. This is a bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, let's see, see more. Okay, here you have um, you have a doji. The market uh, was in a bullish trend. It was bullish, and at this point, you have uh, the doji candlestick formation. The next candlestick closed below the low. So besides having the doji candlestick formation, this is an engulfing pattern. You can see this candlestick alone closed below the low of three previous candlestick, or even four, four bullish candlestick. So this is an engulfing pattern. So you have the doji confirmation and you have an engulfing pattern to also confirm the change in trend. You can see how it's played out. Okay, so let's see if we have more formation here. Okay, this is an example of an engulfing pattern too. Only one bearish candlestick engulfed one, two, three, four. The low of four candle, four bullish candlestick, just one candlestick closed below the low, engulfed all this candlestick. is a strong indication that we have more sellers in the market. And when you have more sellers in the market, you are expected to do what? Sell. You are expected to sell. Price must drop. Okay, so that is that. Here you have a spinning top. You can see this is a spinning top. The market was in a downward trend. Started dropping from this point. Price started dropping from this point. And you have uh, a, a spinning top. What happened? You see how uh, the market reacted to this candlestick formation. You see it now. So price went up. So those, these are just basic things you need to know about candlestick formation. And you can be so good at identifying or trading with this uh, candlestick formation that you don't need any other uh, tool for trading. You can be so good at this that you don't need any other tool for, for trading. So those are just the few that I can cover in this uh, short video. If you'd like to know more about forex trading, about uh, you want to know more about other candlestick formation that could help you in identifying uh, markets or reversal uh, zones or change of trend, then I would employ that you get uh, the video course, a course that I've created uh, that teaches you everything you need to know about forex trading, starting from the scratch. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader. The information you get from the video will definitely enhance your, your trading performance. It will definitely enhance your trading performance. So if you're new to trading, you're watching this video and everything I'm sharing in this video seems to be uh, it's strange, it's new to you, then you should get the video. Now, when you get the video course, uh, the video course, your purchase gives you access to three days live session with me via Zoom. Okay, it gives you three days session with me 
via Zoom, so, via Zoom, sorry. So once you watch the video that will be sent to you after the payment, then you would have access to a live video. You are expected to watch the video before the, the class. You are expected to watch the video um, before the live session. That's why after your payment, you get those materials so that your own convenient time, you can watch those videos then we can uh, do, we can meet okay before the live session watch those videos and uh, my classes do hold in the evening from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. so for that three days the classes we hold from 7 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. the class has been structured in a way that it will suit all personalities so it doesn't matter whether you are a student it doesn't matter whether you are an employee or an employer okay you don't have the time to attend live meeting with me you have the opportunity to participate online okay you have the opportunity to participate online so all you need to do is to get the, the full video and in that video I didn't just teach uh, how to identify uh, trend reversal levels or change of trend using candlestick formation. In that video, I teach you how to use uh, pivot point tool, pivot point analysis, and also how to identify strong resistance and support levels. So there is so much you would learn from the videos that will be sent to you. Okay, so I would employ that you get your your copy now. You get your copy and um, get started. This is the right time to learn how to trade. This is the right time. So, and here is an opportunity for you to get this course at a discounted rate. You don't want to miss the offer. You don't want to miss the offer. So, just click on the button. Okay, send me a message so that you can get your copy. After this class, I can promise you, one thing I can guarantee you is that after this class, you wouldn't need to start, you wouldn't need to attend any other Forex uh, seminar or purchase any Forex book or videos. Everything you need to start trading profitably is what I share with you in my video course. Okay, and it goes for just 10,000 Naira only. The course at the moment goes for just 10,000 Naira. The normal price is 25,000 Naira. You have access to the training materials and you have access to three days live session with me via Zoom for just 10,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira. So I believe you don't want to miss this wonderful opportunity. So if you're interested, you want to start making money trading forex just click on the send uh, button you also have my whatsapp number you can send me a message on whatsapp and we'll take it up from there thanks for watching i hope to see you in the class thanks